channel and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be making a homemade facial moisturizer using natural ingredients. Now this moisturizer is geared more towards dry skin. If you find that you have extremely dry skin, this one is for you. Now what causes dry skin? Dry skin is the lack of sebum in the skin, meaning that your skin is not producing enough oil to keep it hydrated. Now most people get dry skin from long hot shower. You can also get dry skin from overexposure to the sun. You can get dry skin from the heat source in your home when it's cold and you have that heat going, it could suck that excess moisture from the skin. Now you can also get dry skin like dry hands when you tend to wash your hands on a regular. What do you need to do? You know you need to drink as much water as you can to keep that skin hydrated and you also need to prevent that water from escaping from the pores. So you're going to use a skincare product that's going to have to lock that moisture in the skin. Now there are a wide variety of these products out there on the market. Most of these product contains some form of a humectant and the humectant is what lot that moisture in the skin. However, you can also try some home remedies and I'm going to share one amazing remedy with you. This is rich in humectant. It also contains the electrolytes that's going to help to keep your skin hydrated and keep it from getting dry and flaky looking. So if you're interested in this remedy, natural homemade using simple ingredient, follow me to my kitchen. I'm going to whip it up really, really quick and then I'm going to show you how best to use it on your skin. Today I'm going to be using coconut oil as my carrier oil and it is a great oil as a base. It hydrates the skin. It helps to protect the skin. It smooths the skin. It also helps to minimize the look of fine lines and wrinkles on the skin. It calms the skin temporary redness. It provides antioxidant and it absorbs easily into the skin. I'm going to be using a teaspoon of the coconut oil. However, if you want to make more, double up on the ingredients. My next ingredient is vitamin E oil and vitamin E oil can block free radicals and replenish lipid, which helps slow down the skin aging process. The ingredient may also help reduce wrinkles and fine lines and keep skin looking youthful. Now I'm gonna be using a capsule and one of these capsules contain about a half a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. If you have the other kind, go ahead and use a half, half a teaspoon. So let's pour this in. Now if you're using the liquid 5000 IU or above, go ahead and use the same amount. Now once this is done, we are going to mix the two together. We're mixing coconut oil and vitamin E oil. Now if you do not have coconut oil, you can choose to use some grapeseed oil or even some olive oil for the base of this recipe. Now my next ingredient is aloe vera gel and aloe vera gel is hydrating to the skin. It helps to smooth sunburn. It helps to get rid of dry, flaky skin. It also helps to clear pigmentation from the skin. I'm gonna be using one teaspoon of the aloe vera gel. Now for this recipe, if you have fresh aloe vera, go ahead, blend it and use the same amount, one teaspoon. So now we are gonna mix all the three ingredients together. We are mixing coconut oil, we're mixing vitamin E oil and aloe vera gel and mix until all is blended together and you're gonna get a cream like consistency. I'm using a fork to whisk mine. If you have a whisk, go ahead and whisk. It's gonna look even more fluffier. So once you completely dissolve all the ingredients, we have an optional ingredient. And here I have some honey. And honey is a humectant that have the lot that moisture in the skin. It also have antibacterial properties, which makes it a good ingredient for acne prone skin. Honey will hydrate the skin, help to soften the skin, and when mixed with these other ingredients, will keep the skin looking younger, fresher, with a natural glow. I'm using a teaspoon of the honey, so pour this in. Make sure to get everything out of the cover. And now we are gonna mix all the four ingredients together and we are mixing well. We're mixing coconut oil, vitamin E oil, 
aloe vera gel and honey now thoroughly blend or whisk and once this is done your mixture is ready so reach for a small jar if you have one preferably one with an open mouth since this is gonna get a little more creamy consistency and you want easier pouring so pour it in a small jar and now once this is done it is ready to use on your skin now this is good to use on your face your neck and your decollete but you can choose to use it on your hands your knees and your elbow so let me show you how to use this really really quick on your skin remember you need clean skin for this and you do not need to store this in the refrigerator you can leave this on your countertop now all you need for this remedy is just a little touch. A little goes a long way. So all you need is a small amount and this is good for both your face and your neck. And I like to just warm this up in my hand and this is how I like to use it. I like to just press it on my skin like I'm showing here. So just press it and don't forget to take it down on the neck and decollete. Now when should you use this hydrated moisturizer? You can use it directly on the skin or you can use it on top of the facial toner. The fact that you have dry skin, I suggest that you get a facial toner, apply it, spritz it on the skin, and then you apply this amazing facial moisturizer. Now when do you use this moisturizer? You use this moisturizer at night. So you apply it on your skin at night, sleep with it during the time you sleeping it's gonna keep all of that moisture in the skin up on the rising in the morning you just rinse off and reveal fully hydrated soft supple looking skin and now there you have it a quick and easy very simple recipe that you can use to get rid of your dry skin give it a go whip it up use it up and then come back and leave me comment